Hi, welcome to the Turnbull Rock Garden. I'm going to give you a tour of the garden in August and you're going to see that uh, it's not perfect but there are some things blooming and uh, hopefully you enjoy it. Thank you. This is the gray stone area that was inspired by um, a hike in Independent Falls outside of Breckenridge. Saw a lot of this gray stone laying around and, and climbing over it and it looked like it would be, would be a good crevice garden. The idea is to have a natural form so it's a berm. It's built on a berm and um, the, the plants fill in the crevices. So the uh, next part of the garden is probably the earliest part of the garden, minus the tufa, and uh, that's where I, where I started and I collected the rock and um, planted in between the crevices. Um, again, it's August, so not much is going to be blooming, um, but you can see uh, the, the bones and the structure um, that I used um, to, to where the plants uh, fill in the fill in the holes. Now this is the the uh, tufa. This is the tufa part of the garden. Actually, uh, it's 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 just one one piece of the of the garden with tufa. Uh, I have um, I have this, and then there's a then there's a boulder behind behind it. Um, this, uh, this rock comes from South Dakota and it, uh, it uh, requires no soil. It's just you drill, drill holes in, in, the, um, in the stone and put small plants and uh, they, 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 the alpines seem to like it and other plants seem to like it as well. Uh, this is kind of a, a German or, or, or European uh, type of uh, idea. Um, but uh, the, it's, it seems to be growing in the state. So more of the, uh, the original garden um, where, where I, I supported our driveway by building a, a kind of a living wall where no concrete's used, just, just stack stones uh, to support the, the sand or the, the, the uh, road base that, uh, uh, that makes the driveway. And uh, so I decided, well, maybe that's a, it's a good way to make a garden. And well, that's, that's, that's what we have. There's some of the, the hypotufa pots um, built in a, in a crevice using uh, our Manitou greenstone, um, which, which is one of my favorites. Uh, I think it's the, the copper inside the sandstone that turns the rock green, so it kind of it adds an extra attraction, uh, specifically when uh, it's winter and there's not much color. Uh, another tufa pot uh, with some, um, some uh, uh, um, petrified wood. I collect uh, rock for my tufa pots um, from all over the state, um, and this one comes. This stone comes from um, from the the uh, uh, Salida area. Uh, it's uh, it's black, and uh, I, I love the way the plants um, uh, look around it. Uh, and uh, hopefully, you do too. Here's the view of our our drainage area. Uh, which I made into a rock garden uh, and behind it is is the latest uh, um, creation if you want to call it that or monstrosity uh, it's a it's a tufa wall um, and it's this is inspired by Jans out of the Netherlands here's a closer look at the tufa wall 
as you can see the the idea is to grow the real small uh, items that that would normally get lost in a big garden uh, and again it's very easy I don't have to worry about mo voles and deer and and all those all those things I just have to keep it somewhat moist initially to get uh, to keep give the roots a chance to to to, uh, to, to root inside the, the rock itself the wall was built in in two actually three bits uh, the first is on the on the uh, this this side here then I built the center and then just recently uh, I built um, uh, the, the the outside of that uh, hopefully next year it will the the the, uh, uh, the plants uh, I plant will, will take off and pretty soon in about a hundred years it'll look as good as Jan's here's the view of uh, the drainage area uh, which we made into a rock garden um, and uh, we had a pretty heavy rain uh, yesterday and it looks like it's uh, uh, survived with with not too much damage uh, uh, so that's that's proves that you know using rocks to, to help with drainage is definitely the way to go the areas that, uh, that 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 I have problems with the most are voles um, they they seem to 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 take off they dig up uh, plants and make trenches um, and undermine the soil and cover cover the the pretty lichen. Um, so what I've had to do is I've had to um, uh, uh, dig up areas about six inches deep and um, uh, put some chicken wire down so that they can't they can't uh, uh, they can't dri uh, you know dig and 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 uh, uh, tunnel underneath the ground seems to work so it, it um, uh, so far but they sometimes find find little little areas uh, where 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 the 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 mesh doesn't cover the entire the entire garden so this is the Czech style um, crevice garden and it's it was it's uh, in in the in the style of uh, uh, the the gardening that uh, the Czech Republic uh, have created uh, and 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 uh, still do. Uh, of course, they they do a they do a much much better uh, version of this. The crevices are way tighter, and uh, um, they uh, I think they have a they have a better style than I do, but. Uh, this is my version of it and uh, I think I like it um, and uh, I hope you do too. So uh, these are these are uh, some troughs that I have built and set up um, in different different uh, different forms. Um, I've got uh, uh, some volcanic rock there uh, with a wall um, and some some ice plants hopefully they uh, they're uh, th these these ice plants are from Lesotho uh, Africa and um, my, my hypothesis is that they will survive better uh, since they're hanging in a wall um, I don't know if that's a hundred percent true but we'll see we'll see what happens some more troughs Shows you that you can you can grow anything in a trough. Uh, it allows you to mix things. Uh, uh, there's a there's an androsaceae in the trough next to a cactus. Uh, who would have ever thought that that would that would work together? But it does. Here's a trough that uh, I made a couple of years ago now, um, and uh, I put a back on it uh, so it so you could uh, build basically a wall and 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 have some height and um put uh, plants in 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 the crevices there uh seems to be doing pretty good um and uh hopefully it uh, uh it, it continues to grow
but uh, I think it's already it's already impressed me quite a bit. Uh, I like I like the style, and um, uh, we we, uh, uh, we we continue to try things in there. Some things don't do very well in there, um, but uh, we'll, we'll 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 see what happens. So here's a trough with uh, with a rhododendron in it. Uh, Hondo is the is the is the is the name, and um, what I've did is uh, put uh, uh, put a lot of um, peat in with the soil, and uh, so far this is the second year that it's grown. I haven't seen any blooms. Um, I have to work on on the soil, or maybe add a add some 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 soil some uh, additive to it. Maybe it make it a little more acidic, but uh, hopefully. Uh, it'll bloom for me next year uh, and uh, well that's my ch that's my my uh, um, my try of growing uh, ro uh, 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 rhododendrons again uh, the, the Czech style crevice garden notice notice how how close the the stones are together Here's a here's a uh, an overall look um, of for, from the top garden. Notice the the Zauschen area. Um, struggled with that for a long time to get it to grow. Finally figured out that uh, you got to strip out the soil and dig it as deep as possible. And and ever since I've uh, I've been able to grow it. And the uh, the uh, um, uh, the birds love it. The Hummingbirds love it. They just they sit there. They will sit there all day and just and just gouge themselves Gorge themselves. Sorry Here's one of the side gardens um, uh, Using uh, using the the native uh, uh, Pikes Peak granite um, With with lichen on it uh, This one's a tough one to grow because it uh, tough one to, to plant because uh, um, I get I get a lot of gophers and 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 things. Even though that I've 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 done some I've done some uh, um, some uh, chicken wire underneath, they still figure out how to how to get off eat off the top. So it's it's been a struggle on this one. But you know it's 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 gardening is a is a is a uh, an adventure and and it's it, it's it's not easy to do. Um, and you got to stay on it. And when you do, you, you you're successful. I like to bring uh, bring wood into into the garden uh, by using old roots. Uh, I think it just adds some extra character. Propagating um, uh, cacti is is super super easy. Uh, all you need is the pad from one of one of the cactus. Lay it on lay it on its side or or or, or let it sit it up, and you see um, it's we get we get the, the little babies starting to pop up all over. Uh, a friend of mine gave me these, and uh, it's it's not been but a, but a couple of months, and uh, already seeing uh, some significant growth. Some of the plant species that are my, my favorites are uh, Daphne's. As you can see, this one is blooming again. Um, uh, and uh, it's, it's kind of taken the form of the rock that it's sitting on, uh, making it uh, extra interesting. Here's a little, a little crevice garden um, that I, that I, I, I plant uh, a native things in and uh, uh, next to the water. Uh, it's 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 uh, it's cooling and um, it adds some interest as well. Here's a Phlox nana, um, and uh, this this uh, this continues to 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 bloom uh, all summer long. It started in in June and uh, it's it hasn't stopped blooming. Again, behind it is uh, is uh, again one of my favorite Daphne's. Uh, having a second bloom. Well, thank you very much for uh, for viewing uh, the garden tour. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it's a it's a.
it's uh, uh, been a pleasure to show it to you, and I hope uh, you come and uh, see the garden sometime. Thank you, and, and stay safe. Take care.